Hi friends, today we've got the infamous question about steroid dilutions and I've heard you guys, you guys have told me that you find this really difficult and you know what, I do not blame you. I also found this really difficult last year until you find out how to do it and you're like, oh, I look forward to these questions. <laughs> so pause the video here, give it your best shot and then continue on to see how I answer it. Right, first top tip, draw your diagrams, okay? So let's go through and I'll show you where the diagrams come from. So, essentially, it said that the number of yeast cells in 25 centimeters cubed of solution for bacterium has been you know, carried out following three di two dilutions, sorry. Okay, so we're starting with 25 centimeters cubed of bacteria. Okay, this is it. This is our 25 centimeter cubed of bacteria. It's our starting point. Then it says, that one centimeter cubed of the original solution, aka this, was mixed with nine centimeters cubed of nutrient solution to make solution two. So that actually means that this is solution one, that's solution two. Okay, so it means that we've taken one centimeter cubed from solution one and put it into solution two. And so because it said that, oh yeah, you know, it's mixed with nine centimeters cubed, we can do that. And then that one centimeter cubed that we've mixed into it is put there. So that means we now have 10 centimeters cubed. Now, what's really important for you guys to understand and label on your diagrams even, is that every time you take out one centimeter cubed um, from each solution, I want you guys to Put this here, times 10, okay? This is, represents our dilution factor. And now if you look over here, they've done it again. The one centimeter cubed of solution two was mixed with nine centimeters cubed of nutrient solution to make solution three. Again, one centimeter cubed is out, so we've got another t times 10 dilution factor. Okay, now, the next part says that the side has transferred 0.1 cm cubed of solution 3 in, onto an agar plate and 15 colonies grew on the plate. So that means now we're not mixing things, we're just taking out 0.1 cm cubed from solution 3 and we've put on the agar and now it's like uh, had time to grow and 15 colonies of bacteria have been produced. The question says really, how many yeast cells were there in the original 25 centimeter cube solution? So we're saying from this, go backwards, right? Oh, my annotations are so ugly, I just realized, but we go backwards here to find out what was the actually like the original number of bacteria in solution one. So we work backwards really. So we start off with our 15. Now remember, I did those times 10 dilution factors, well, they come into handy. So I can do um, 15, okay, 15 colonies, and I can times that by a thousand, right? Now, because we want to find out what the original um, number of yeast cells are in the 25 centimeter cubed, we times it also by 25, and you get um, 375,000. And because it wants us in the answer, sorry, in standard form for three significant figures, we do 3.75 times 10 to the power 5. And those are your two marks. So what you should have um, understood from this is that number one, draw your diagrams. Number two, make sure they're fully annotated, not for the examiner, but for yourself. Okay, because I've already had these annotations to me. I'm getting it wrong. So I, I personally need it, and I would suggest you also do it as well. And number three is to make sure you, every time you take out something, you times 10, okay, as a dilution factor. And the thing is, these questions come in variations. So in this one, it's saying, oh, you know, what's the number of yeast cells in the original solution? But most of the time it comes up as, oh, what's the final um, number of cells? So just be careful, okay? Just, just read the question properly so that you know what you're answering. And you're not answering... Uh, giving an answer for another question and yeah i have really 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 hope this makes sense and if it doesn't like rewatch this video and um take some time out you know sit down
draw these diagrams out and then think to yourself, um, why, why are these diagrams here? Why are we using this? What's the benefit of it? And how does it lead to the calculation over here? Which I've just rubbed out, oops. <laughs> um, and yeah, please do message me if you um, have specific videos on dilution, silk dilution um, questions that you've done in your revision. You can email me, my email is in my description, um, so that I can also make videos on them. But so far, I'm just doing the questions that I see um, as I go along this topic. And yeah. I really do hope this may all makes sense and you've gained some clarity from it. And remember the two most important exam technique tips are read the question first and state all the obvious points. Now over to you. Try some questions and let me know how it goes.